What's up, Gaming Nation? We are back with Seven Days to Die. I'm Game, and today we are continuing episode eight of our Play Till You Die series. Today is day seven, and you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. It is Horde Night. Yes, of course it is. Before we get started, I do have some bad news. So in the perfect world of YouTube, uh, when I went to record this episode originally, we actually had went through the entire Day 7 Horde, and I was able to beat the Horde, no issues. However, my file that I had saved was corrupted. So instead of just abruptly ending the series on Day 6 for no, re no apparent reason, I've actually went in and recreated our save uh, from the beginning. So we've got our storage chests. Um, we've got this. We've got our bunker. You know, our bunker down there with our one forge. We've got this going on. Um, the base, we actually have um, everything in here. So I did use a little bit of creative, obviously, uh, to get this done. My backup was a little too far out. And all the day that we did all of the work that we've done on the base the last two days was not in my backup save. So either way, I would have had to recreate our um, our base from scratch. So I did recreate the base. Um, everything here I have uh, recreated. I recreated our little trench that we dug out, the beginning trench that we dug out, the entire base all the way around. As I will show you guys here, we go down same place here, all the way over. Sounds like we got a friend coming up somewhere. All the way over through. You know, it. we basically just, I had to recreate our base. So this is a creative series, or this one um, is in a creative series. My other series, I did not do anything to the save. Everything is normal, everything is fine. And we are actually still going on and playing our game. Uh, looks like we've got some puppies that want to come play, so we'll uh, let them come on. What are they doing? Oh, hello. Ah, let's run. Okay, hello, guys. Is that another one? I don't know. Sheesh, they're all coming out today. All right, so we'll have some exciting uh, stuff going on today. Where did they go? Oh, those little shits. Alright, so this did not happen in the previous episode that we recorded, but let's get these guys taken care of. Okay, so, um, you know, and again, guys, I, I'm definitely wanting to be as legitimate as possible. I didn't give myself a bunch of AKs and a bunch of random things like ammunition or this, that, and the other. Um, I've actually looked back at all of my videos, and, you know, I was able to identify all of the items that we had initially or that we had just recently in the last video. The only thing that I couldn't do... 
perfectly was recreate the exact amount of experience we had because I wasn't for sure. I knew that in the last episode when we ended we were level 12, so we are level 12. Hello, buddy. And really the only other thing that we can't recreate is the inventory. You know, um, I can recreate my inventory for the most part, um, but right now we're kind of stuck at, you know, kind of what we have... Um, what I know that we for sure had. I didn't want to give us anything that we did not have in the last episode. And, you know, I don't want to give myself any items or anything that, you know, is going to be too much of a, uh, too much of an advantage. So for right now, uh, we are going to kind of prepare for the horde and I will kind of show you guys what's going on. So I just wanted to make that disclaimer for you guys that if you see something weird, you know, you're like, hey game, that uh, that chest, it was actually right up against it. It wasn't right there. I tried to recreate the world in the best way I could, um, but there's a few things that we need to take care of. Number one is right here, if we get a zombie, uh, if we have a zombie that's coming up right here, they're going to most likely be, they could be able to fumble their way over here. So we're going to take this out we're going to go one more right here, which means that we are going to have to take out that, at least this block, I believe. So we're going to take this guy out on both sides, and then I'm going to see if we can recreate this. Taking out just that one block should do it for us. Perfect. All right, let's put these in here. Perfect. We are going to get to work, and what I'm going to do first is we're going to chop down some trees because we are going to need a lot, and I mean a lot, of spikes to go into our pit. So let's get some tree chopping. Alright, that's a good amount of wood. Let's get some of these spikes going. Let's see here. And I know a smart thing at this point would probably be to make... Um, we could make something else like bobbed wire because we have iron and things like that. But for this horde, it's going to be pretty basic. We're going to just do it very, very simple. Um, Let's get a little bit more wood. I think 66 is a good number, but I think in we might need more like 80. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Let's chop down these two as well because they're close to the base. If a zombie starts spawning, we want to have as much of a clear sight as possible to kill them. Alright, let's start throwing some spikes down here. We'll see how many it takes. We're going to just put them in the bottom of the pit. Most likely I will fall in here more than the zombies will, but at least we can get these in here. So if they fall in here, they'll take a little bit of damage. They may die, but you never know. At least they'll take some kind of damage coming across these. And we'll put an extra one on top right there. Perfect. So that way the zombies will come in. They'll fall down. I was going to show you guys. Good lord. Um fall down into the pit, take a little bit of damage, and jump back up. Um, most likely they'll go around the pit, which is ideally what we want. I don't really care about this too much as being a way to damage them. Ideally they can come around here, and when they get here I have a perfect shot to shoot them. It's going to make it a lot easier for me if they come around these compared to going through them um, instead. I'm 
so let's go down into the pit and we will start doing these as well. Now, something else I want to do here, and I did this in my last video, is I want to go ahead and add the support right here coming down. Um, looks like we're going to need to add it right here instead. Let me see what that's going to look like. Wrong buttons. So I might have to shave that one off. So like that. Oh gosh, I gotta do this again. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side to hold some blocks because eventually what we're gonna be doing um, is we are going to make this all the way across here. Put that there. Uh, so we put that across and then eventually we're going to have some kind of a walkway or something for us uh, to be able to run or to walk through that without the zombies being able to. Eventually we'll probably use like a force field um, underneath here and forego having the spikes. So now we want to have spikes around the columns uh, because we don't want them taking anything down. I don't think that's really going to matter a whole bunch, but we know that they will target support. All right, we're running low on those already. Those little suckers look dangerous. All right, let's see. We got more wood. We have a little bit of wood. We definitely need to do a little bit more work before we have enough spikes. Um, but one thing I want to do is I do want to build kind of um, pretty close right here, just a small little square. And what it's going to do, there we go, and this is actually just going to be sitting here for our torches, or for a few torches because I don't know how dark it's going to get. I don't think it'll be too dark, but at least I want to be able to see, you know, kind of around the area. All right, so those should be good. That's going to might, might draw a screamer, but I really don't care at this point. That's okay. That'll give us enough light on that side and that side, and then this hopefully will light up uh, some of the area here. You know, we're not going to worry about building... A bunch of lighting structures at this point but at least that way we'll see we'll be able to see tonight so let's go tear down some forest uh, let's go this way and we'll chop some more trees because we need more spike traps for sure That's, that's odd. I think it was 66 last time. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's do um, let's do 60 because I think we're probably going to need somewhere around that for sure. That is our pit. It's only one layer deep because the last two videos have been extremely boring base building videos. Let's go do some hunting. Let's go explore a house and we will come back and we'll prepare for the horde. 
All right, guys, so on my previous playthrough on the day seven, um, I know that we've actually already been through this one, and we've already been through this one, I believe, those two. Um, we also went through there. That was the fun episode with the bear. Uh, we'll note that in the future, that that is, that is why the place is clear. Um, however, a little crawler over here, a little crawling friend. Um, However, in the previous episode, um, I do recall I actually did go through um, one or two of these houses up here just for some cheeky loot. And we will actually look at doing that again. Um, on the previous one, we actually got an AK level one. Uh, wasn't really anything to laugh at, to be honest, or wasn't anything to, uh, to, uh, to worry about. But I believe the loot for these t this house and I think that house over there... Uh, I think that house, get my bow out, that house and this house, the loot is up top. So we are going to do a little bit of cheeky cheeky. Um, we're going to frame up there and we're going to take a look. We might kill a few zombies. We might make a few mistakes, but, uh, you know, that's how, that's how the, uh, that's how the world works, right? Let's see what this looks like. And this is a crazy house. Might. This bed looks like it's going to be in the way. Let's see. I don't know how those guys slept through all that, but we'll take them out. Well. If he ever wants to come over here. Apparently he's uh, stuck in a box. Get some random loot. Let's see what we have. Looks like this is the way down, but I'm pretty sure the loot was upstairs, so we might just be in the wrong area, but that's okay. Um, let's just come down here. What's up, Nursey? Arrow to the knee, no more adventuring for you. Okay. Some murky water. So we'll play this one a little bit less uh, sneaky archer and just a little bit more reckless just because, you know, it's Horde Night and uh, we've got to get some loot. we got to see what we got going on. Hello, buddy. Alrighty then. Another loot box. Uh, if we get something like an AK, um, I'm probably not going to use it just because I, I want to have the same loadout that we had or that we would have had in the previous, you know, in my actual episode. So I don't want to do anything that's going to make it, you know, um, that gives us an advantage that we really shouldn't have. Um, I know we did loot this house and the last house on my original episode. Uh, looks like we got a feral. Nope, maybe not. Um, so, you know, we did get a few things. The turret, that's cool. Um, but, you know, something like that. Like, for instance, the turret. You know, we're not going to use anything that I didn't in the previous episode. And I did have the AK, but I did not use it. Um, and we might need some food. So I'm not going to use anything that we didn't previously have. So if we, you know, if we find like a level five, you know, turret or, um, you know, like a level six AK or whatever we find, uh, we're definitely not going to use that just because, you know, we didn't originally. And to be honest, we really are not going to need it. Um, you know, the first horde is definitely an easier one. Um, I remember the very first time I went against my, my day seven horde, um, I definitely definitely over prepared um but you know that that's just how i am though make sure we got that 
cabinet. Um, that's just the person that I am. I, I tend to, I tend to do that, and um, you know, it works out, and it worked out for me really well in the previous episode. In the previous episode, but you know, um, it's definitely not something that we need to worry about over preparing this time. Getting a lot of loot bags today. It's it's kind of like a, uh, it's like a you know like they know it's day seven, so they. They're kind of just planning to uh, give you some good stuff today. Wow, you guys can tell I don't shoot this often, do I? Or I don't throw that often. It looks like he was all sorts of messed up. Where did that go? Oh, I thought I lost it again. Ah, buckshot, blunderbuss, not buckshot, blunderbuss. Yay, yay. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen that. That's a fun weapon to use. I mean, I, I guess you'd say it's kind of a fun weapon to use. Uh, let's play with it a little bit while we have some time. The the animation when you're um, refilling that is makes you very slow. Oh, hello. Look how slow that is compared to the normal walking. Can we sneak up on this guy? Hello. Oh, we're stuck aiming down sights for a second. There we go. Uh, so we woke somebody up somewhere. we got to figure out where. Uh, we're not going to use the junk turret, so let's just throw that away, too. I know that might hurt some of your hearts, I know. <laughs> uh, everybody's sitting here. Like, I, I'm actually legitimately uh, on Episode 7. I said I wanted to find a junk turret so bad uh, because I, I definitely wanted it. So I feel bad. You know, I definitely feel bad for throwing it away. But, again, this isn't our save, so I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to give us anything that we didn't have. Where the heck are they trying to come in from? Oh, guys. I was just right over here. Did I get, is that a double? That was not a double. They must have broken right here. Ah. Oh, that's nice of you guys. Somebody else is outside. The blunderbuss must be very loud. Ow! Ah, oh, right here. Okay, so I'm still confused. Where am I supposed to be going for the loot? Okay, so nothing was downstairs, right? Or did I just miss it? I mean, we have this uh, this little area here. I'm kind of using... This is my blunderbuss, though. Might need to repair this, baby. And then let's... Wake up, everybody. Oh, interesting. There we go. Come on around the corner. Boom! We only have a couple shots left, you guys. Better hurry and get your butts in here. Alright. They're definitely tearing something up somewhere. Hello? Jump. Do I need parkour to get up here? What's going on? Alright, whatever. <sighs> Come on. What the heck in the world? Good god, that was like... What? Where am I supposed to be going? Did I miss it? Okay, and then come down here. Okay. Boom. Okay. Where the heck was this part of the building at? Oh, through that door that was over there. Okay, okay. That makes a little bit more sense. Um, let's... I saw loot in here. All these... They have a nice little area where all the closets have a little bit of loot. So that's kind of nice.
There we go. This is what I was looking for. Let's. I know we got a few friends out there. Take that. Let's just have that up there for now. So we can hear when someone's coming. Uh, what is this that I got? Electric Timeler Relay Schematic. Okay. Some ammo. Some pants. Uh, which brings me up to another good point. I do want to show you guys. Wrong button. I do want to show you guys. I, did, um, I didn't know exactly what I was wearing. So we did... Um, you know, I gave us some uh, a little hood, level four. It's a little high, but I didn't modify anything on it. Um, we I know we had lucky goggles, a bandana, a leather duster with a pocket, a leather chest armor level two. I think we have a better. I think we have an iron chest armor, but I'm not for sure. Um, just a regular shirt with some pockets, um, some scrap gloves, some leather leg armor. I think we have iron leg armor, um, some kind of pants, and just some regular shoes. So. Definitely nothing too crazy. I didn't give us self give us any uh any crazy loot or anything like that. Alright, let's see. This is locked, but we picked up a couple lockpicks in the house. Ah, come on. There we go. Dang! Okay, so this is basically what we found. Um, in the previous episode, we found a, a AK level one, uh, which we didn't end up using. I did not find the crossbow. The crossbow I would have really liked. Um, we might take it and play with it just now. Um, some of this. We don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. A level four gun. I would definitely take this. But um, again, for today, the best we found previously was level two. So we're going to keep the level two. This is only one more damage anyway. Uh, so it's not really going to help us any. Hey, about time you made it. Oh, I don't have any buckshot left. All right, well, let's throw that away. And let's try this. Oh, hello. Um, yep, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, excuse you guys. Uh-huh, excuse you. Oh, okay. That shot really quickly. I thought I had to aim and then shoot, but... Okay. Take that. You take that. Oh. That was rude. The ADS is just uh, wanting to stick today. Maybe I should quit using it so much, but... Uh, moving with the crossbow definitely... Um, when it's reloading, it definitely hurts your... Your movement speed. Look at that. That's, that's pretty low. I mean, and, and it makes sense. How accurate is that? That's pretty accurate. Okay. And I just want to play with the the thing anyway. Okay. I think we had one more box. We had the main box to look at. Did we? Yeah. Oh, my God. If we could, I would. This is what I've been waiting for in my in our actual game. Um, I do want to take the slugs as well. And the rest of this we can leave. And I know we left this... Um, but we're not going to be using it today, guys, anyway, so, you know, really there's no reason to have it on us. Um, it's not something that we're going to be, we're going to be using, so. Hello! Oh. Boom! There we go. Is that another friend? That's a shopping cart. Let's be, let's have some fun. Let's pull out the shoddy. And in one of my next episodes that's coming up, guys, just so you know, uh, it's a double barrel. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm okay with that. Um, just so you guys know, I do want to do an episode going forward where we're going to be raiding some POIs, and I just want to use a shotgun only for that entire episode. Um, so I think it'll be a lot of fun. I don't know what we have currently. Um, I believe we have a double barrel. Um so we will most likely be using the double barrel um, and any of the shotgun shells we have. Um, shotguns, not something that I usually use. So I am actually kind of excited to dig into it and start using it um, because I think it'll be, you know, I think it'll be pretty fun. All right, so let me uh, let her out. Come on, honey. Oh, wow, to the face. Whew.
Um, I know I'm missing a lot, guys. Um, you know, I'm just kind of going through just more for entertainment purposes and uh, just trying to find and have some fun. This does not look conspicuous at all. Uh huh. Ah, tricky. Damn it! Ah, I'm an idiot. All right. Back to shotgun fun. Obviously, we're supposed to go out here. Nope. Get away from me, stupid birds. Gotta hate the birds. I mean, that's a jump. It's a bit of a jump. I mean, you guys are... Oh my god, I did it again. I'm gonna do this the hard way. That one should have been a double. You know, they are both very close to each other. Shotgun ammo. Wow, what is up with this uh, This game giving me this random stuff? These wooden clubs, level 3 and level 4? Goodness. Alright, what else we got going on? Alright, another climbing obstacle for my non-parkour self. Okay. Looks fun. Spam. This looks like the main room. There we go. And give you one. And I got one left over. Anybody left for one more? Anybody? Anybody? All right. Oh, hello, buddy. I'm glad you came down. Otherwise, I would have started going downstairs. Which? What is downstairs? Ah, oh, crap. I am such an idiot today. I cannot game today. So note for everybody else, uh, if you are going into this POI, just go through right there. That's the easiest thing to do. Alright, so we're going to have to go up here, come over here, okay. Like one more zombie. Nope. All right, I'm good with that. Ha <laughs> ha All right, level three, seventeen. This was level two with fourteen. Bye bye. We'll take that. Okay, let's go find a f eight more people to kill with the shotgun and. After that, we should be good. Um, you know what I'm thinking, guys? Just because I feel bad that the game, you know, the the, the save corrupted and all of the fun, all the stupid stuff happened with that. Um, so I do feel really bad. So I'm actually going to go and we're going to relive episode four, episode five, maybe, um, where we were in this little building and we had a bear down there. And now that we know there's a bear down there, we're going to go. And we're going to say hello. And we have our shotgun with us. So, um, you know, I think everything should be good, to be honest. Hello. Hey, buddy. 
you know, these guys were not in here last time. I think when I came in here last time, I believe there was like one zombie. Um, if that, this actually, this whole place was clear. Is there anybody in this back room? No? Nope. Okay. So last time we were here, we had to put a block. We put a block down right here and ran from the bear because, well, I mean, yeah, it was like day two or day three, I think. I think it was day three or day four, something like that. Uh, but now we know there's a bear down here, so we're going to go in. And um, let me see how many shots it takes to kill a bear. Honey, I'm home. A one, two, okay. More than two. A three. Three is the magic number, but I would really like the head to pop off. But it's not going to. Okay, that's cool. We'll go into smithereens. Last time we were down here, there was a lot of food. Food pile, food pile, and working stiff's crate. What do you got in you? A paintbrush. That's nice. We don't need the food. I just wanted to come down here for the fun of it for you guys. All right, so this is going to be our horde base, ladies and gentlemen. So the idea, again, if you guys didn't hear it before, when I said it a billion times, I know, is that the zombies are going to spawn somewhere in the world, wherever they spawn. They're all going to be drawn to me, which is going to be right here, sitting like a dummy in the front of this building. And ideally, they're going to come either on from the sides or the front or wherever. They're going to come around. They're going to be hanging out on our walls. We're going to be sitting just basically right here and taking shots at them on either side of the wall. One thing that I do want to do is we want to go back here, get on the workbench, and we want to look up... For the bike, actually, let's look up the mini bike first. So here's the mini bike. So we need two wheels, the chassis, the handlebars, engine, and the lead car battery. We did get the car battery in that last episode. I was very excited we got that finally, and we actually didn't notice that we got it. We've got about five engines. All right, we are back. Let's make our mini bike parts. We need a wheel. We need to make two of those. We need the mini bike chassis and the mini bike handlebars. So we will get the, all of that going, and then once we're done, we'll actually make the actual mini bike itself. Uh, one thing I did just now think about that I need to do is we need to make some wooden bars. Let's do four or five of them. We definitely don't need too many. Let's put these down here. And what I want to do is I want to have a little walkway for myself just right here. And we want to do, nope, not auto-rotate. We want to do advanced. And that was where we wanted it, there. And there. And there. And our first contestants, they're spawning from over here, which is perfect. They're taking the bridge. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? She's like a runner, but she's hopping a little bit. That's okay. Um, the good thing about this base, again, is, you know, especially when you're, um, you know, in, d depending on where you're at... You know, we're going to see them do this a lot tonight, you know, where they're just kind of stuck jumping up and down on this little area. Um, if they get in each other's way, they will hit each other. And it looks like they're already doing a little bit of damage to that block, this um, this pole, which for us isn't definitely going to matter at this point. Don't fall down there. It's uh, spiky. And you'll notice whenever they're able to jump on top of each other is when they're going to be able to jump all the way over here to us. Pop that head up. Is he still alive?
Hey, buddy. Big Mama seems to get stuck on that little area for sure. And the good thing is, is right here, I can miss, you know, the, who I'm trying to aim at, and it's going to hit somebody behind them, which is awesome, you know, um, because they're just basically lining up. It's kind of like a killing corridor where they're just lining up for me. Um, it's just that it's kind of more sideways than it is, you know, straightforward. But you do want to watch because, again, they could come um, on the sides and they could come back for you, but... For the most part, this is a fairly safe build, like I described before, and it's working perfectly. The only thing I would say that's in the way is actually this pillar right here is in the way. Um, they may end up knocking it down, but most likely it looks like they're going to avoid it for the most part, and they're kind of able to go and squeeze through this little area here. I do want to take them out when they're in the pit, because we don't want, them to, uh, don't want them to use up all of our spikes either. They're coming in from a perfect angle right over there, though. Um, it would be better if they came in straight head-on, but for the most part, they're coming in. They're avoiding those spikes because they can see that, I guess, and they come over here, which is working out perfectly. And again, with for guys, you know, if you're building a base like this, if you're a melee base, for instance, you know, you can kind of make this something where you could, uh, you know, you can kind of hit the zombies from here as well if you copy the exact base that I'm doing you know you're able to kind of hit them of course in that case you might actually want to make it to where there's not a pit um, so that way they're not actually falling down into it and you know they're just kind of um, I, I don't know maybe some kind of blocks or you know something other than that so or it's a pit and they are able to actually just walk right out of it and come back into it would be uh, something ideal for them as well because if you make a pit like this and then you make a ramp up to where they can just come back around, you know, that's going to be something that they are going to want to do. And they can come right back up here and you can try to have a few more swings at them. But this is a good thing to have. I would always suggest if you build a, when you're building your horde base, to kind of give yourself a little, you know, what if I run out of ammo? You know, like if I'm using the AK and I'm just spraying and praying, what if I run out of ammo? Um am I going to be able to take down the zombies still? You know, make something that, you know, if you run out of ammo, you're able to, you know, still fight the horde. So they are spawning over here as well now, it looks like, which is still perfectly fine with me. Having a few different points is probably not preferred, um, but, you know, for me, it kind of keeps it a little exciting. Like I said before, I don't want to make a cheese base to where the zombies can, you know, never get me. That's definitely not what I want to do. So I definitely want to make something... Um, you know, that the zombies have a chance of getting over to me, which they definitely do. You'll notice, you know, they're probably going to eventually get over here, especially if I can get a dog to spawn in. Um, they'll they'll have a way over here. Uh, it looks like we got one kind of on the area over there. Yeah, he's he can't even come over to the side, but that's okay. Let's use our pistol just a little bit. What was that? Stuck ADS, but that's okay. And, you know, really, the, the good thing about the base like this is, you know, use the pistol when they start, you know, kind of piling up here. And, you know, you might think that maybe they're going to be too much for you. What is that that keeps falling, I wonder? All 
Um, because one thing I would say is that 9 mil is definitely something that, you know, you're going to have access of even on day 7. You know, especially unless, unless I guess, you use, unless you use the pistol for normal, um, you know, normal rating. Which, in my case, I'm definitely not using it for normal rating. Use the pistol a little bit more, or the arrows a little bit more. Big Mama. That could be it. I believe on the on my um my original one, my original episode of this, I believe we stopped right at twenty four hundred. Um, so this might have been the end for right now. Let's whip out our pistol, just in case. And let's run around. Not seeing any damage to our base as of yet. We'll go around with the hammer just to, just to kind of show you guys if you want to build a base similar to this, kind of what you can expect. Alright, so it looks like they did take out a few spike traps, but not... Definitely not a lot. We have a lot of spikes left. And let's look at damage. You know, so it looks like this corner block here took just a tiny bit of damage. You know, like four, po four points of health of damage. Um, the corners is usually where you have to worry about. Um, no damage throughout here. This one and this one took a tiny bit of damage. But again, even for a day seven horde, that's nothing. Um, this took the most damage out of anything, um, and I think it's just, uh, I think it's just an iron pole. As far as the base goes, there's a little bit more damage, a little four points, five points. But if you guys notice, I mean, I'm getting, like, maybe ten points of damage on a few random blocks. Okay, so let's look at this. This is good. Look over here. Uh, a few points somewhere. Where'd that go? Right here. Eight points. Another eight points. Oh, almost fell into the spikes. Uh, looks like uh, eight points, four points. So the zombies are probably doing like four points of damage each hit. And they hit it once or twice. No damage. Probably no damage throughout here, I wouldn't expect. Yep, so basically no, you know, no damage. I would say, you know, an honest to gosh thing at this point you are spending, you know, the majority of your resources to get this up. Once you have this up and running, you probably will not need to repair it for the first three to four hordes. So in the next episode, guys, we are going to raid the hospital in Dyersville. I did promise that back on day like three or four. So we're going to do that. We're going to get our mini bike built up and then we're going to do something um, in the next few days. We're going to do something with this. What I want to do is make this a one of those little force field things that you see with all the other YouTubers to where zombies will not walk across it, but we can. So that way we can drive our bike right across this. And let me show you guys the loot that we got. Looks like we got a loot bag here. Hunting rifle, not bad, 80 damage. But let's go in. We will look at our mini bike and we've got our parts perfect yes 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 and then we will look at recipes mini bike and craft so in the next episode um we will raid the hospital like i've said and we will have our mini bike all prepared and ready we're going to visit the trader so we can actually start exchanging some items thank you guys so much for watching the video uh, if you guys liked it please drop a like subscribe leave a comment if you guys want to peace